guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera with you today. Wanted to give you a little update on Scooter Bug here. Miss Butterscotch, and I'm on an old blanket, so you know why, right? Mm hmm So I've taken her out of her brooder, and uh, because it's being taken outside, and we've taken everything out and completely washing it out. And uh, which, you know, if you have baby chicks, as they get this big, <laughs> You're going to find out real quick that you'll have to do it quite often. So even with a little scooter bug here. Come here, baby girl. So I want to show you what she's looking like and how well she's doing. I do think it is a pullet. I told you that from the get-go. Um, we're looking at her being two weeks and one day. Come on, baby. Yeah. Come here. And she is such a sweetheart. Oh, my word. Now, she is a full buff Orpington. This is the Scotch Tape Baby. And she has such a unique personality, okay? I just want to make sure she doesn't flop off. But you're seeing just uh, the develop. What I want to show you is how, you know, how they develop and what all you're seeing coming in in just two weeks. It's like you're dealing with an entirely different animal, which in a sense you are. Uh, you know, sort of preteen, a little sassy, right? Yeah, so cute. Not preteen all the way. But she has a, a unique personality because she is by herself in the brooder. This is the first time this has ever happened um, that I've had a baby in the brooder this long by itself. You know, I've had some for a couple of days and then some others were hatched or something happened or whatever. Um, she is completely bonding with us and with the animals that are in the house, especially the cats. Uh, particularly the old cat, Mr. Oliver. You've seen some pictures on Facebook and Instagram how they just lay together. So, you know, you have sort of this like <laughs> imprinting, if you will, uh, going on. Uh, very much a, like, a, are you my mother sort of phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, she literally will chirp for you. Um, and then when you come to her, come on. When you come to her, come here. When you come to her at the brooder, she will hop at the very top and come up to the very tip top, which they like being high, of course, but she wants you to pick her up. She keeps stretch, she'll stretch her neck and she wants you to absolutely pick her up. Come on, come on, get up there. She's, you know, trying her wings. Absolutely. She is dust bathing. See, here he comes. Okay, we're just hanging out. She absolutely is, um, trying to dust bathe. She, she dust bathes anywhere anywhere she possibly can. Hey, come here. Look, here's your buddy. Look here. Okay. Yeah, there's your buddy. So this is Oliver. And a lot of you guys, you know, I know it's easy to get him confused with Mr. Peaches from a distance. This is my oldest cat. He is 19 years old. He is a um, full tabby, orange tabby, dark orange tabby. And we've had him. He's 19 years old. Look, look, look watch her. We've had him for 19 years. I uh, got him when I lived in Nashville at Pet Med when I worked as a uh, vet tech assistant. Come on. And uh, he was a rescue that I took in, and he loves to sit with us. And here she comes. So they hang out. Seriously. So you've even seen her with Mr. Peaches, and she they lay together and they bond. This is what she knows. So I've got babies hatching right now in the incubator, and I'm hoping they do well. Um, so we will see in terms of them if we can acclimate them together to give her her own little flock, if you will. And we will continue to make a decision in terms of her being outside. She will go out with the Buff Orpingtons. I may, I don't know, those little tags that you can get for her leg, uh, those little things, those little rings, I've never used those. I'm not sure how I feel about them. I don't really think they'd probably be that big of a deal. Maybe some of y'all can let me know. Because I do want to, because it, it's going to get to a point where you may not know if it's her or not, you know. They, they, let's be honest here. So she may start to look <laughs> like all the other girls. And that's what we want. We want her to be happy out there. So we're just gauging her day by day. It is supposed to get very, very cold. So she's going to be spending a lot of time still in the house and being babied because, you know, well, that's what we do. So here she is. <laughs> I can't I can't back up anymore, guys. Yeah, she's she's pecking at him and gonna lay with him and she gets up on his little head and they chit chat. Here, you lay down, Ollie Bobby. Lay down. Lay down. Yeah. They're big buddies. Their favorite thing is in the evenings, especially right now when we've had a fire going when it's uh, got a little bit cool, is they will literally um, sit in my lap. And uh, with the fire going right there in the recliner. You've seen it. <laughs> Is your buddy here? Yes. Oh, my goodness. So just to show you how she's progressing. And I'll try to get another shot here in a second. So we just appreciate you watching. Oliver, 
I know you want to snuggle. Everybody wants to snuggle. Everybody, come on. Everybody, yeah, he's over here. He's over here. Everybody wants to snuggle. Yeah. Guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate you here at Appalachia's Homestead. So many of you want to see how Miss Butterscotch is doing. And we may be sticking true and true indeed to the name Starry. Absolutely. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Whoop. Where are you going? Oh, can't leave Oliver. Nope. Can't leave Ali Bali. Can't leave your buddy. All right, guys. Take care out there. <laughs> oh, careful. Careful. He needs his eyeballs. <laughs> Look here, say hi. Oh my goodness. Say we're number one buddies. <laughs> Don't fall. Don't fall. Yeah. Silly.